suppose we got to go somewhere, so as long as we're here, we might as well do something. Yes, sirree. One winter morning, during breakfast, a husband and wife in northern Minnesota were listening to the radio. They heard the announcer say, we're going to have eight to ten inches of snow today. You must park your car on the even-numbered side of the street so the snow clouds can get through. So, the good wife gets up and goes out and moves the car. A week later, while they're eating breakfast again, the radio announcer says, we're expecting 10 to 12 inches of snow today. You must park your car on the odd-numbered side of the street so the snow plows can get through. And the good wife went out and moved the car again. Oh, I'd love to have a good wife. I'd love to have a good life. The next week, they're having breakfast, and the radio announcer says, we're expecting 12 to 14 inches of snow today. You must park. And then the electric power suddenly went out. And his good wife was very upset and worried. She said, honey, I don't know what to do. Which side of the street do I need to park on so the snow plows can get through? And the loving husband and understanding in his voice that all men who are married exhibit, the husband replied, why don't you just leave it in the garage this time? I don't mean any malice there. These are just jokes, you know. I think that started out as a blonde joke, and I didn't want to do anything. I could have done a bleach blonde joke, though. That wouldn't hurt anybody, right? Well, maybe it would, you know, in this woke world. It's so easy to offend. Once we lose our sense of humor, it's all over. You know, you go to the synagogue, and the rabbi tells a joke go to a church and the priest or minister tells a joke. You turn on the radio and you listen to the news and it ain't funny at all. Walking through the forest, leaving footprints in the snow, it's a chapel in the pines. Deer nibbling on a sacrament, kneeling at the altar, receiving communion. Mother Nature surely knew. Oh, cold turkey, alcoholic one, says to alcoholic two, do you think I should quit cold turkey and alcoholic two? You should, I quit cold turkey ten years ago. From that time on, I only eat it hot or cold. This is where my union starts. Walking through the forest so quiet and serene, Leaving footprints in the snow, winter wonderland's a dream. The trees stand tall like chapels in the pine, and I can feel the presence of something so divine. The deer are nibbling on a sacrament so pure and so true. In this sacramental place, I find my peace and my truth. Kneeling at the altar, receiving First Communion, Mother Nature surely knows this is the sacred union. The snowflakes fall so gently like blessings from above. As I walk deeper, I'm filled with truly love. The rustling of the falling leaves and the choir in the breeze. And in this holy place, my soul, it shall ease. A deer is nibbling on a sacrament, a sacrament so divine, so pure, so true. And in this sacred place, I find my peace and I find my truth. Kneeling at the altar, receiving First Communion, Mother Nature surely knows this is the sacred union. In the chapel in the pines, I feel so alive, I feel so divine. Nature's beauty surrounds me, I can help but thrive, I can't help but thrive. Nature's beauty surrounds me, and I can't help but, but, but. The deer is my witness as I make my vow. To always turn round here and feel nature's love somehow. A deer is nibbling on a sacrament so pure and so true, and in the sacred place I find my peace and my truth. Kneeling at the altar, <laughs> I suppose there are no bad notes on the guitar or the piano. 
dear is nibbling at a sacrament so pure and so true and in this sacred place I find a peace and I find my truth kneeling at the altar receiving first communion mother nature surely knows this is a sacrament it is a union so I'll keep on walking through the forest leaving footprints in the snow for this is where I find my peace a place to grow and with each step I feel closer to the vine of mother nature in this chapel in the pines where my soul finds a place to shine <laughs> excuse me yeah that's a little poem that I worked on putting together it's about the fly it's about something I have not tried but I've been told not to be so bold but back in the times when people lived in yurts a funny man in a red and white suit would come down the center chimney of the yurt and with a bag of amascara, the mushroom so divine, he would leave a precious gift for Christmas. It had to be dried by the fire in the light, and some people say, although I have not partaken of that holy sacrament, some people say that that might be the root of Christianity. For there always will be shamans, and there will always be experiments. And where the holy sacrament or religion came from, nobody really knows. I could ask Joseph Campbell, or I could ask Bill Maher, or I could ask a thousand priests and ministers and rabbis, and consult five hundred and thousands of books and temples and Dead Sea Scrolls, but who really knows where all this mystic stuff came from? Maybe it's tribal. Maybe it goes back thousands and thousands of years, or maybe nobody ever told me the truth. Was the Grand Canyon actually cut by a river? Or did the great lakes of the time in that area overflow their banks? They're just questions. That's all I know. It's a Friday. So let's get on with the show. Show, 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 show. Well, maybe do something else, like go skiing maybe or something. <laughs> 